object driven how do you read so loud and clear okay thank you so today the last part of marine insurance uh, i will be doing that is the warranties and conditions for the question which come is of uh, what are implied warranties or what are express warranties or issued warranty with example uh, we will be doing both warranties and conditions now whether it is a warranty and you know when you go to buy something like a fridge or a tv <laughs> if they say that guarantee for one year it is meaning भाई आपने गारंटी दी थी नहीं हुआ तो योर बैड लक वारंटी इज प्रॉमिस अंडर लॉ कि अगर कुछ उसमें खराब होगा तो भैया रिप्लेस करना पड़ेगा विद इन दैट तो डोंट गेट फूल बाय गारंटी तो गारंटी तो मैंने आपको गारंटी करी कि भाई कल दस बजे मिलेंगे नहीं मिले तो मुझे कोई एफ आई आर थोड़ा लॉन्च कर सकते हो आप सो वेट मी टॉक अबाउट वॉरंटीज एंड कंडीशन बोथ आर प्रोमिस विच द मरीन इंश्योर वॉन्ट्स द अश्योर्ड टू मेक एंड नॉट ओनली मेक विच द अश्योर्ड हैज टू फॉलो ड्यूरिंग द एंटायर पीरियड ऑफ कवरेज ऑफ दिस whether the coverage of risk is for one passage or voyage or one year whatever the case may be conditions are also promised but they are more serious in nature and their seriousness we will come to know in case of breach of a condition as compared to breach of a warranty so it simple like with five nine you were right that what do you understand by warranty uh warranties and conditions are promises that the assured sorry that the marine insurer asks the assured to make and follow during the entire time period of coverage of risk failing which failing means agar wo uh, assured breaches the following of the promise for warranty of the mission failing which the coverage of risk stop there are three we we'll take the warranties first there are three types of warranties implied warranties expressed warranties and institute warranties theek hai uh some types i do not know why in the question paper it's actually the correct Term is expressed warranty, but somehow I have come across implicit warranty. I don't know where, who got that term, but in case, along with implied uh, short note on implicit warranty, just don't wonder that ये तो कराया नहीं. It would mean express warranty. So let's take it one by one. Implied. The word implied means, यार ये तो करना ही करना है, because it is implied. It is Understood. Insurance, no insurance. This has to be done. So it is understood. Meaning that things which are to be carried out and implemented and followed during normal ship operations and normal ship business. So these are the following things. In any case, you will be doing whether you, the assured, have what insurance coverage or not. The idea is the idea is that to prevent that attitude, that duty of the assured, which we did in the Sue and Lee McCall. अरे मैंने तो यार इतना पैसा किया दो तीन लाख डॉलर का प्रीमियम दिया है तो नाउ व्हाई शुड आई इन्वेस्ट मनी हैव एन एनुअल बजट फॉर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द शिप भाई अगर कोई लैक ऑफ मेंटेनेंस को टूटेगा तो मरीन इंश्योरेंस दे देगा 
नो जो इंप्लाइड है विच इज अंडरस्टूड टू बी कंडक्टेड इन कोर्स ऑफ नॉर्मल शिपिंग बिजनेस नॉर्मल शिप ऑपरेटेड यू विल कंटिन्यू टू डू दैट एंड prevent assured from having this attitude the point is that when the contract is signed even if there is no mention of the implied promises implied warranties which we will see the examples they still have to be followed there is a big responsibility vested on the shoulders of the assured mainly the ship owner who's the uh, who's bought the halen machine be insured if there is a damage claim they say ke bhai yeah implied warranties were you following it or not which you are supposed to do in any case so even if it is not mentioned they will continue to apply the assured has to do it and if at all it has to be mentioned from hal and machinery insurance company uh insurance company wants maximum in inverted comma that is written as one line implied warranties shall apply wo kya hai you the ship owner they are more mainly to do in hull and machinery insurance so the ship owner is supposed to know that now examples when the question comes short note on implied warranty it may be mentioned with examples even if it is not you are supposed to mention the example which we are going to discuss and you would see you will see when we discuss the examples that they whether there is insurance coverage or not wo to kar hi rahe hai what the big deal in that examples of implied warranty see what it is it is the responsibility of the assured and the assured promises that at all stages of the passage whether alongside anchor or moving underway the ship will always be seaworthy number 2 every passage that the ship makes is a legal passage not an illegal one how do you ensure it on the ship by following the applicable international law the conventions of solas marpol sccw load line tonnage etc and the local law of the country whose port you are going when you are following all the applicable laws by default every passage becomes a legal one next you will always be calling a safe port ye nahi ke bhai baat baat pe niche kankar patthar hai and you are sitting down or whatever ha theek hai thoda sa wo paint niklega hulka sa dent aayega hal hai machine insurer will pay what's the big deal i spent so much money on the premium no you'll always be calling a safe port the ship owner will have an annual budget will have an annual budget for maintenance to ensure that the wear and tear of the ship is kept within limits ye nahi ke this is the first case where they cut corners the ship owners the shipping company yaar itne lakh dollar ka to premium de diya let's cut on the maintenance not allowed lack of maintenance ki wajah se jo insurer hal and machine mein insurer fees ki yaar we are supposed to have it in the PMS, आपके यहाँ पी एम एस ही नहीं है हाउ यू आर कीपिंग ट्रैक ऑफ इट कि वेदर वॉट काइंड ऑफ मेंटेनेंस शॉर्ट टर्म लॉन्ग टर्म दिस पर्टिकुलर मशीनरी और इक्विपमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड टूडे इट इज ब्रोकन डाउन एंड यू आर आस्किंग इंश्योरेंस टू कवर सॉरी यू आर इन ब्रीच ऑफ एन एम्प्लाइड वॉरंटी यू विल हैव टू डू मैनेज दैट एज फॉर द लो ऑफ सेफ मैनेज एप्लीकेबल टू द शिप the ship will be properly manned now this also be that that mean ki if there is a short hand you can't sail because implied warranty is not gone no in that case the master directly from the flag state or through the company hail bait storm is required to get the dispensation to sail to the next port with one officer less 
when the flag state has given the dispensation, fair enough, you are still meeting the manning requirement because you are following the law. If one person is net, who is uh, part of the safe planning uh, certification, if the person for some reason is not there, emergency had to be sent to relief could not come, the ship cannot be held up. Get the dispensation, you are meeting the implied warrant. You can write any other thing also, which for part of day to day operations of the ship, day to day business of it. Have you understood implied warranties? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, the sir. next is, thank you. The next is expressed warranty. Or sometimes you may see in your paper implicit warranty. I don't know where they get the word, but we stick to express as an implicit as what we are going to. Expressed warranties are additional promises. Additional promises that the marine insurer wants the assured to follow during the course of normal ship operations and normal shipping business. And it can be different from one insurance company to another insurance company. It is an additional thing. Implied company, it is uniform. So therefore, expressed warranties will always be additional, not over and above. Over and above matlab important. Nahin. Promise every sorry, every promise that the marine insurer wants to make is important. But the point is expressed warranties will be additional promises to the implied warranties. They will always be, if there are 10 or implied warranties which form part of uh, normal shipping operation, shipping business, well, there are three more which are expressed. And because they are very specific requirements of the marine insurer, they have to be put in writing. Unlike the implied warranty, they may they may not be in writing. If it is in writing, one thing is right, implied warranties to follow. Our uh, seaworthiness and uh, legality of passage, etc. That is not mentioned. Implied one warranty should will apply. You the assured with the ship owner, you should know. Express warranties have to be in writing because they are very specific and additional to the implied warranty, and it will be mentioned as the following express the warranty shall apply A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, whatever. So what are the examples of expressed warranty? Trading limit. It can very well be said that the hull and the insurer puts the cap on the uh, trading limits of the vessel during the uh, time policy of one year, you know that the vessel shall only trade between 70 degrees north, 70 degrees south, 68 degrees north, 68 degrees south, whatever the case. I mean, the logic in the trade is a very common thing, you know, because beyond 70 degrees south, in any case, there is no land area other than Antarctica, so ports north, Norway, etc. Weather is always bad, the risk is very high, so no, you will not go there. So, trading limit, these are specific ones. INAC. Now, you should understand as compared to war zone, piracy, there are no coordinates, latlog, that this is a designated piracy area of the coast of Nigeria or Somalia. So, these are load piracy areas. Sometimes the pirates will carry food that found to be coming to a ship 300 miles. So, and it's always a risk. So, applied, sorry, uh, expressed warranty can be the vessel shall always say, like a minimum distance, say 100 miles from a load piracy area. 
it does not mean that we walk 50 miles from Somalia coast and add another 100 miles. Some of those passa con de gan added steering car. But from the Somalia coast or Nigeria to 100 miles. Now, but this is just an example. No piracy area. Another thing, it can be seasonal trading zone. That the vessel shall not trade. in the wna zone during the designated winter months the risk is high because you always get very very bad weather there you want to do great circle make sure that the lower limit the southern limit of the wna zone that is your maybe one minute latitude below that is your composite great circle limiting latitude where you come Something related to cargo. If the ship is very old, see, seaworthiness is an implied warranty. But let's also face it: as for the construction standards, the minimum thickness of the steel plate wears down because of rust, and that's why the particular thickness is. Uh, 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 And hence, at the time of construction, so that okay, in twenty years, in fifty years time, this will thin down, which it found from ultrasound gauging, which will thin down to this much. After which, the plate will have to be cropped and renewed. Now, around that time, if the ship is carrying, let's say, IMTG corrosive cargo. The risk is higher. God forbid, if that corrosive cargo leaks, there are no there are no chances for it to create a crack in the steel as compared to year one when it is actually very more than the required thickness. The insurer can put the thing. We are not limiting your trade, Mr. Shipowner. The assured you are here to make money. You are a businessman, but uh, you. Before you sign the deal contract to carry IMDG cargo, you will inform us during the, for example, if when you inform us, we'll ask you to provide the detail, the quantity, the class, there is like carry sulfur cargo or the the uh, corrosive cargo. What is the quantity? How it is being carried? What is the possibility of risk of the uh, The corrosiveness coming into contact with steel plate, etc. We will bear the risk for that short period of time. We will increase. We will increase the premium. Once it is discharged, we come back to the normal. It can be edited. So these are the examples of expressed warranty. Follow. Yes, sir. Now the third is institute warranty. It's a very common question in orals. Institute. There is an institute of London underwriter. Underwriter means insurer, and these have been developed specifically by that institute. That if any married insurer. All and machinery cargo insurer want to take benefit when they can use it. They have been discussed and finalized, applicable as and known as institute warrant. We are the third. The institute clauses all institute clauses cargo. We don't get into that, but we have to be aware of the six institute warrant. And again, like uh, expressed. Uh, Like uh, expressed warranties are additional to implied warranties. These also are additional to implied warranties. For example, there may be implied warranties plus expressed warranties. That's it. No institute warranty, or it could be implied warranties plus institute warranties. There is no expressed warranty. There are six institute warranties, and what are they? It's very easy to remember. And you will write it as it is, or say it in your oral as it is. First, to prohibit trading in certain areas of the world 
throughout the year. So what area we can be, I do not. We don't have to get it. They prohibit. In here, they can't go in this area. A remote area, I don't know where. The fifth prohibits trading in polar regions, depending upon the type of ship. The fifth wa uh, institute warranty can be worded as be worded in such a way that in certain cases. You can't. The ship cannot go throughout the year in polar regions. Always remember, polar regions is, you know, seventy uh, degrees and above latitude, north and south. Or in such cases, only during the designated winter month, first September, uh, in that area till I think thirty first March. The sixth warranty is interesting. It prohibits the ship. From carrying Indian coal, our coal in bulk around the Indian coast between 30th April to 30th September of every year. Why? See, you would have noticed that whether bulk carrier or wherever the coal in India, it is lying in open. It could be loaded on the ship with grab or put on the conveyor belt itself. Around the last week of May. The monsoon hits the west coast. They have taken 30th April of buffer time. Around first week of September, Indian Meteorological Department makes a declaration: monsoon is finished. So they have taken another three weeks to 30th September. The point is, the coal is lying in deeps in open. They try to put the canvas, but wind is so high that clearly canvas goes for a toss. B day around the Indian coast during the southwest monsoon, there is torrential rain continuous for number of days, and depending upon the type of coal, it is very powdery. Then. There will be a very high moisture content, which is loaded like that on the ship, because of the vibration, it will liquefy the ship and capsize. That is the reason for this. So we will write there are six institute warranties. First four prohibit the ship from trading to certain areas of the world throughout the year. The fifth prohibits the ship from trading to the polar regions. Subtype only winter months. Subtype only in uh, 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 subtype throughout the year. Subtype only during the winter months. And the sixth institute warranty prohibits the carriage of Indian coal in bulk between 30th April to 30th September around the Indian coast. Followed. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, condition. Conditions are also promises like the warranty, but they are more serious. And the seriousness of a condition becomes visible in case. Of a breach of a condition as compared to breach of a warranty, we'll be doing that. Then the question has been: What is the difference between breach of a warranty and breach of a condition? A breach of a warranty it could be anything: breach of implied warranty, breach of express warranty, breach of issued warranty. Okay. So serious in nature, it becomes visible in case of, and also. Conditions are always additional to any of the warranty. When all the three warranties are there, implied, express, and issued, this will be additional to any of the warranties because of its seriousness. So therefore, it has to be mentioned in writing. Only implied warranties may not be mentioned in writing. It still has to be followed by the assured by default. Whether it is expressed warranty, issued warranty, or a condition, it has to be specifically the following: expressed warranty shall apply. One, two, three. The following: issued warranty shall apply. One, two, three. 
the following conditions shall apply. Examples. Now you will see that they have to be followed. Why war zone? How war zone is different from the piracy area? War zone is always designated. That log what gates are given. Keep out. The vessel shall not enter a designated war zone. Example of a condition. And absolutely safe. At no time, NABSA is an option. NABSA is not always afloat, but safely aground. You know, in certain places, a certain uh, ports, there are certain jetties, which are NAPSA, that every six hours, the tidal range is so high, the vessel very quietly just sits down on the bottom. So to prevent any kind of stresses, you stop the cargo. Every high tide it comes. There are hardly three or four ports, and that is only possible because the bottom is silky smooth. If the bottom was hard stone, rock, obviously, and it will every six hours, every ship will get damaged. There will be a dent or a crack in the double bottom because it likes very smooth clay. So it just sits down, it just comes up. No doubt. But the insurers say we don't give a damn whether it is silky smooth or whatever ratio, it is not an option. These are the kinds of examples for condition. Now, coming to breach of a warrant. In case of a breach of a warranty, insurance cover stops immediately from the moment the breach takes place. And this is so important that suppose express warranty is 70 degrees north and south, you may have crossed without any genuine reason 70 degrees for 30 minutes, you come back, the breach is full and final. The moment you cross 70 degrees north without any justifiable reason, insurance cover has stopped, even though you have come back to less than 70 degrees north and the damage takes place, you can't take it. When the damage take, took place, we were following the warranty, sorry, you have the breach has taken place there, it is full and fine. Breach of a condition is far more serious. Breach of a condition is The insurance coverage stops immediately, plus the marine insurer can take the assured to court to claim for lakhs of dollars as third party, uh, sorry, not third party, as compensation for breaking the problem. So then I'll take you to court, which was not the case in breach of a condition, oh, sorry, breach of a warrant. That is the seriousness. Ke bhai, ya, hai, breach of warranty, agar ho gaya, to worst case scenario, premium ka loss ho gaya, ke bhai, insurance cover stops immediately. Ya pe to, insurance cover bhi ho gaya, the sword is hanging, but the insurance can take me to court and claim for 20 lakh dollars as compensation, the judge will get 15 lakhs, so wo to de nahi padhengi mother. Is a total kalyanjiyan. That is the serious part that dunia either se ho jai, there is a condition you have to follow. Then, this I have already said, stoppage of risk is full and final. But the important point is, Coverage of risk will continue till the time breach of a warranty or a breach of a condition takes place. And therefore, absolutely correct logbook entries become of paramount importance. Another common question is on the what 
circumstances, breach of a warranty or a breach of a condition is allowed and the insurance cover continues. Three circumstances. In an emergency, to save life, property of the ship and the environment involving old ship. Number two, responding to a distress call to save life, property of the environment involving another ship. And number three, in order to follow the application, applicable national laws. Example, suppose there is a condition, NAPSA is not an option. When you go to a berth in the port, normal, it's, it's inside a breakwater, so there is no tidal variation. The vessel is berthed alongside with, as per ISPS code, security level 2, while the ship is there, the security level of the port becomes 3, so you will also have to raise the security level 3. Under security level 3, the port tells you, Captain, you will have to take your ship outside the breakwater and berth there temporarily. It is a very serious thing. You have no option but to follow the law of the port country till the time you are there. At the birth, they want to shift you as part of raising the security level to three is NAPSAP. After all, it is a matter of national law and national security of that fourth country. So then this will not be treated as a breach of a condition and the insurance cover continues. But under the principle of disclosure of representation, the ship informs the company, we are going there, it is not that they immediately inform the insurer. All clear? Yes, sir. So this for the March that completes in entirety the marine insurance part. So 